Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be sharing with you one of my all-time favorite recipes for raw sweet onion bread. This is the most delicious healthy bread you will ever come across. I am so excited to share this with you guys. I'll first start off by saying that I did not create this recipe. Um, it's actually a pretty popular, well-known recipe. You can find it on a lot of different websites and probably in a lot of cookbooks as well. But I still really just wanted to share it with you guys because it is one of my favorite recipes. I just think it's so, so delicious. So I feel if you guys don't know about it already, you're really missing out. And yeah, I thought I would just show you guys how I like to personally make it and what I like to top it with and how I like to eat it. And this bread is really, really good if you are gluten intolerant, if you are celiac, if you're just on the raw food diet, or even if you just love raw onion bread, it's super simple to make and it's just so delicious. So I'm really Really excited to share this with you guys today. So I'm gonna get started and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so to make the onion bread, you will need three sweet onions, one cup of ground flax seeds, one cup of ground sunflower seeds, one third of a cup of olive oil, sea salt, and any other seasonings of your choice. And when choosing a sweet onion, you wanna look for ones that are more on the flat side opposed to round because the flat ones are usually the sweeter ones. So first off, I'm going to grind my flax seeds and sunflower seeds in my dry container for my Vitamix, and then just add that into a large bowl. Next, I'm going to peel and cut my onions and prepare them for blending. And if you're a crybaby when cutting onions, I heard that if you hold water in your mouth while cutting the onion or rinse the peeled onion under cold water, it's supposed to help out with any tearing. But I usually just allow myself to cry while cutting them. And now I'll just blend the onion pieces in my blender and add them to the bowl with the other ingredients. And now you can just add your olive oil, sea salt, and any other seasonings you might want. I really like to add in coconut aminos because I just think it adds a really nice flavor. But just play around with it and test out different flavor variations. There's so many different things you can do with this bread. And then you can spread the mixture out on your dehydrator sheets, not making it too thick or too thin. If you make it too thin, it'll be more like a cracker, but if you make it too thick, it'll take forever to dehydrate. Now you can just stick the trays into your dehydrator and dehydrate it for around 12 hours. I usually just leave mine in overnight. And you wanna flip it over after a few hours because you want both sides to get dehydrated. And once it's done, it should look like this. I love topping mine with some mashed avocados with sea salt, some chopped red bell peppers, a little bit of hemp seeds, and some good old sprouts. It's the best bread in the world, and it won't last long because it's so delicious. So I hope you enjoyed the video and will give this delicious recipe a try. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And remember that I love you guys. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.